Good morning, my friends. I'm out here for a second time. I seem to be having trouble with my, my camera again. <laughs> I went through and I did uh, another fun with Dick and Jane, uh, my two uh, shoebox worm bins, and uh, turned on the camera, had it running, went through the whole thing, uh, turned it off and was going to upload it and it had disappeared. So uh, we will try this again and hope that, um, oops, excuse me, I'm sorry, even though I can't give you the aha moments, that uh, at least I can explain everything to you. So this is Dick and this is Jane, and they are my shoebox worm bins. And each one has, you know, a lid and a base to it. And uh, the base has three big holes on each side, and uh, then several holes in the top. They both have screen on them and then it's taped in and uh, that keeps any of the worms from uh, going bye-bye. Uh, but, it, it, but if there are any gnats or anything, they will come in. Uh, I luckily haven't really, occasionally I'll see, you know, like a, just a little fly or something like that, but uh, luckily I haven't and this sits out on my back porch. So uh, the difference between the two as I'm doing the same foods, trying to weigh them pretty much the same, and as far as, you know, foods that go in versus, uh, you know, how, how they're run, the difference is uh, Jack, I'm sorry, uh, Dick is being run with uh, shredded cardboard, and uh, Jane is being given a pulverized elm leaf. And my elm leaves are only about that big anyway, so when they go through uh, my Nutribullet, they are pretty much pre-digested. I mean, you know, they're really, they're on their way. So uh, that's the main difference between the two of them. Um, in between, because I've been, I was trying to do it uh, every week, and it's silly to do that, but um, I just didn't have the time. So I, when I managed to come back out, it ends up being like four weeks. And then after about, oh, I don't know, four, four months, maybe five months, then I harvest them and uh, get pretty much half of what I had in there. I, I get them up to about maybe six pounds, and then I get to take off about three pounds of castings. Um, each one of these containers, this is 24 ounces, it says a pound eight, but with wet castings, it's closer to, um, is that is that a two pound thing, I think, is what I get out of here. It might only be a pound, but um, I get a couple of these. It depends. You know, wet weight's always going to weigh more than light, fluffy weight. Um, and so, um, as I said, I've tried to run them both the same weight. Uh, this time, what I did is, uh, and the worms looked really great. I, I hate to disturb them again, but but everybody looked really healthy. Uh, they were all, I, I didn't have any food balls or anything, any worm balls, because the, um, the worms had already gotten in and eaten the food, so they had dispersed. Sorry, I'm not going to... Again, I, I, I just fluffed it. So there's a couple. Oh, you can see it's nice, rich soil. There's the babies. With a little yellow tail there. And... I'll put it back down. And what I gave them this time was, uh, first of all, I, I, I built a little um, raft for them. Uh, I used a couple uh, toilet rolls, and then I had a piece of cardboard that went over top of it. And I put that down on the bottom of this side, almost to create like a little air pocket uh, so that they can move back and forth. And then on this side, um, I did uh, fruit and coffee grounds and eggshell for their grit for, uh, to act as a pulverizer and then I put a little bit of bedding on top and then Jane 
I did her on the opposite side. I did her toilet rolls and uh, top to make a little raft on this side and then fed her this way with basically the same thing, which was the fruit and the coffee grounds and the eggshell and then the pulverized leaves on, on top. So um, they're both holding their weight. Um, let's just see what they, what somebody weighs here, if you'll bear with me on time. This is a great little scale. I got it uh, at Amazon. Okay, so this is Dick. Move over there, smidge there, Janie. And he's three pounds, 10.7 ounces. And Jane Girl is three pounds, six ounces. Oops, we'll make her six since we're gonna, we wiggled that off. There. Go back there. There we are. Jane doesn't know what you. Oh, okay. We were leaning against there. So 6.3. Alrighty. So uh, we're pretty even, Stephen. Um, we could make her the 310. Give her a little bit more. Come on, Jane. Pick it up there. And everything oh and then I, I sprayed everything down so let me just see if I can now remember all this evaporates so you know as as um, things evaporate they weigh less don't don't I wish I could evaporate a little but um, I did spray them before but these uh, leaves are really really quite dry there you go all right so we're both at 310 yeah I actually did was 10 7 but I think we'll stop there I think that's good all right so now you've you've seen what we're doing um, hopefully uh, in about four weeks time I'll come back and uh, these two will be ready to harvest so last one off is first one on that's Dick and Jane signing off for now and I hope to see you guys and I hope you'll watch this this, this will be a great summer project for kids it, or for somebody starting out who just wanted to start out small. So uh, take care, everybody. I hope you'll uh, subscribe and ring the bell. And I hope your uh, worm bends are doing great. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.